this module to be really uh, entertaining. And I want us to sub really support each other. Uh, you can be foolish, you can uh, create your own journey. It is all about your own learning. Uh, you, and you are not competing with one another. Forget about that. Like we don't benefit from a competitive mindset. Uh, you can each uh, have distinction in this module. As long as you do keep up learning and be creative and apply whatever is needed and engage in your own learning journey in the best way possible. And really, you are just competing with yourself, really. Don't um, limit yourself through societal assumptions. You, you can be naive, you can be curious, you can be playful like a child, you can explore new perspectives, you can develop as an entrepreneur, you can do everything. At IBM, they did a survey uh, and they did a survey for all top managers. They asked CEOs what will be the most important leadership quality over the next five years. As you can see, creativity is at the top. Creativity is number one uh, priority that is needed, especially in the age of artificial intelligence. So you need to be really creative and you need to invest in your own creativity. The business landscape is also changing really fast. Businesses are becoming much more innovative, creative, adaptive, speed and agility becoming important, and real startup cultures are becoming important. So as the business landscape is changing rapidly, the future of business is in cultures of constant change, learning, constant innovation and imagination. That's why all of these companies, they are like innovators, hackathons, accelerators. There are co-working spaces everywhere. Uh, there is prototyping, innovation everywhere. So in order to survive and thrive in this environment, you need to disrupt yourself. You need to hack yourself, reinvent yourself and your life. That means you need to invest in your own learning. The best of your learning will come from your own initiative. It has to be self-directed learning. You need to keep your brain active all the time, nourish it every day. What are the things that you are really excited about? Go for it. Learn about those topics. Be curious. Read across domains, across multiple domains. To become a Renaissance person, you really need to combine multiple domains, multiple skills, multiple fields together. So in this new world, another golden rule is that you need to leverage your strengths instead of fixing your weaknesses. You do have an amazing set of talents, skills, knowledge, interests, passions, backgrounds. Now I want you to think about what are they? So please write down on a piece of paper or in your notebook, please write down what are your unique strengths, unique talents, skills, knowledge, whatever comes into your mind, please make a quick list in the next one. What do you think are your unique strengths? Please take down some notes and make a list of these. Make a quick list. Keep writing whatever comes into your mind. Don't stop writing. Just make, dump, dump your old brain. Dump your brain. Keep writing whatever comes to you. All the strengths that you are aware of, write them down. And keep writing.
I recommend that you bring your notebook to each class. And as we will do a lot of writing exercises, imagination exercises as these. So please, uh, if you don't have a regular notebook, buy a good notebook that you really love. Choose a notebook that you really love using. That should be your favorite notebook, okay? And bring that favorite notebook to our classes. I want you to write it, keep it as a diary for this class, okay? If you are done with your strengths, you can continue, of course, after the class. Uh, I want you to continue. Uh, think about your own category. So imagine that you can create your own category, build it, and be number one in that category in the world. What is that category? Try to find your own niche category. So if you have any ideas, again, take some notes, please. Write down some ideas. What could be your niche category where you can be number one in the world? Perhaps it can be a combination of multiple categories. What are they? Write them down. Whatever comes into your mind, please write down your ideas. What will be your category where you will be the best? Okay, so you can continue this, this exercise at home, but uh, later on, but my overall message is the following. You need to leverage your strengths instead of fixing your weaknesses. Fixing your weaknesses is very long. It is a long, challenging process. Instead of giving uh, it a lot of energy and time, Instead of that, just amplify, leverage your strengths. It will work better for you. That's my overall message. Uh, I will offer you four tools to uh, really succeed in this module and in your life. Tool one, disrupt yourself. So that means you need to go out of your comfort zone every day. Scare yourself. Do something that you feel uncomfortable about. For example, you can carry 100 pounds with you whenever you are out. Or you can uh, do some public speaking. You can shoot a one minute YouTube video and upload it on YouTube every day. You can kickstart uh, your own YouTube channel. Whatever, like, however you want to disrupt yourself, I want you to do it. Go out of your comfort zone, develop new skills, stretch yourself. Uh, and um do something that scares you every day tool number two i want you to write morning pages so uh, write about 20 minutes to 30 minutes every day every morning if you can whenever you wake up so whatever comes into your mind write non-stop you can write about three pages on your notebook this will be your stream of consciousness uh, so whatever comes into your mind, without censoring it, just write it down. And at first, perhaps you will write like uh, things that are not focused. For example, I couldn't sleep last night. It was raining. There was a thunder. I need to go and buy milk, whatever. But then if you keep writing, you will also focus on the goals that you want to achieve during the day ahead of you and perhaps you are visualizing those goals dreams and this will carry you transport you to closer to uh, implementing those goals so writing these morning pages are extremely important if you do this as a habit about 15 minutes 20 minutes even every morning it will serve you really well the third tool i want you to take yourself to a creative date every week. So once a week, try to spend a minimum of two to three hours every week. This can be, let's say, on a weekend, Saturday or Sunday. 
it has to be alone. You cannot do this with your friends. Do this alone. Do something that will energize you, excite you. Try to get involved in some creative activities, arts. If you love shooting videos, shoot some videos. If you love writing, do some writing. If you love singing, sing some songs. If you love dancing, do some dancing, capture it on video, whatever. Like have fun, pursue some hobbies, get inspired, and then record your ideas and reflections about the process. So if you love theater, go to theater. If you love cinema, uh, see, go to cinema and see something that you will, you are excited about. So whatever you want to do, let's say I want you to do something creative, refreshing, uh, and exciting every weekend. Okay. So this will be your creative date with yourself. Please do this. This is very important. And the fourth tool that I want from you, please keep a diary, a learning diary. Keep a diary about your learning reflections every day. Uh, I want you to uh, create a new diary, a new journal for this module, for this semester. Start, uh, f like buy a notebook that you will love using. It should be a no notebook that you love and start uh, it as a diary. Keep a diary, record, capture your ideas as they emerge to you. Record ideas about your projects, your portfolios, your asset creation projects, your job applications, whatever. Like, let's say you learned something exciting, capture that, reflect, uh, create ideas and projects. So uh, try to capture all your learning and reflections in your diary, in your notebook. Okay, especially in relation to this module, I want you to do that. Okay, so uh, disrupt yourself, scare yourself every day, write your morning pages every morning. Uh, one, once a week, do a creative date with yourself and keep a notebook. Okay, so these are the four things that I want from you. I'll tell you a little bit about this module's philosophy. It all starts with you. You are the designer, entrepreneur, innovator of your life, your career, and your world. So you are the designer. If you want to create the life that you, are, you really imagine, go for it. It all starts with you. You need to take action as an entrepreneur. You are the designer. You are the creator. You are the innovator. So take an action. One of the best ways to do this is to think about your ikigai. This is a Japanese concept. It's the reason for being. What do you love? What are you good at? What does the world need? And what can you be paid for? At the center of this, make a list about each of these. What do you love doing? What are you good at? What does the world need? And what can you be paid for? Make four lists. And then think about the interconnections. At the center is Ikigai. If you can find any activities that are at the intersection, then this will be your Ikigai. This will be the reason that you wake up in the morning. That will give you joy, satisfaction, pride, and success in this life. So think about this because it is so critical. Think about uh, what you really want to achieve. What is your Ikigai? Do this exercise. It will take about 20 minutes or so, but do this. It is tremendously important. And perhaps your asset creation projects should be at the center. They should be related to your Ikigai. Think about that. So try to create the projects at the center, if you can. Steve Jobs says, your time is limited. Don't waste it living somebody else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma. Don't let the noise of others drown out your own voice. Have the courage to follow your heart, your intuition. So that's the most important thing in this life. So here is the culture wall of this module. I will show you in a minute, but it summarizes the, all the assumptions, values of this module. 
Okay, so treat this as our constitution. So it's a valuable document. You can always use this as a personal reminder. Uh, my recommendation, try to print it if you have a printer and put it on your wall as a reminder, as an inspiration, which is the following here, flowering the self. I want you to have a look. Have a look. This is our poster. This is our constitution, okay? I want you to look at each of these. I want you to choose top five. What are your top five favorite ones? Do this individually, please. Which ones are your top five favorite ones? I want you to choose and take some note. How will you implement this in your life? Think about it. Choose five of them and take some quick note. So go over each of them. Choose five of them, please. Choose your top five favorite and make some quick note. Okay, so please continue this exercise whenever you have a chance. I want you to identify some action points to bring these into life. How will you apply this? Think about that. Some smart action points, small action points. Think about it uh, whenever you have a chance. And now I want you to Think about the following question. What do you want to get out of this course? Think about it. And I want you to write it on our main screen. So let me go back to Blackboard. And let's go to the this whiteboard. I want you to type up your expectations. So there is a pen here, as you can see. Please click on the pen. And then, oh, the better one is uh, the, the, the T, the T here. Maybe let's erase them, yeah? Uh, start with the, start with the text. Let's start with the text here. Let's say, write up something. What is your expectations from this module? I want uh, each of you to write, something small on the screen okay let's start let me do this one okay become a better me excellent 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 to be more employable self-improvement to be more creative taking more risk increasing my motivation getting a nice job cool be more creative yes uh, the lecture is being recorded there has been a technical problem in the first half but I, I think I will solve it. Uh, maybe record another thing. Increase confidence with public speaking. Live, love, and laugh. Learn how to write a CV. Excellent. Find my genuine passion. Self-improvement. Improve confidence and creativity. Be successful. Excellent. I love your ideas, guys. You're amazing. Start taking some action. Consider the world around me. <laughs> I love, love you. 
Okay, there's a lovely. Lots of creative freedom. Oh, thank you. You are amazing. I'm inspired by you, really. Uh, today, I uh, have dealt with look at loads of doors. I love that. Yes, that's the spirit. Yeah, excellent. Cool. Uh, don't worry about QR codes. I don't. I, I we will figure it out later on. We'll establish it later on. Okay, mindfulness. Cool. I love this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your contributions. Okay, let's continue now. I'll finish this part if you don't mind and go back to the uh go back to our presentation so in the next part i want to share some inspirational success stories uh we'll learn from the masters this is professor brian Cox, he's a uh, physics professor at Manchester. So let me try to increase, um, let me try to Okay, so this is yeah. I I mean I had a lot of trouble with the voice system. I'll try one more thing if you don't mind. Uh, but if you, we can't resolve it, you will you have these in your slides. I want you to look at them from your slides. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Now the laws of physics are simple and they're universal. What applies here applies everywhere else but there. I've got to be the closest thing to going into space. <laughs> We're part of a much wider ecosystem that extends way beyond the top of our atmosphere. All this order, the sun, the rotating planets, me, coalesced from a collapsing cloud of dust. actually going somewhere, touching it and taking pictures of it. And we found that they're more beautiful, more violent, more magnificent and fascinating than we could possibly imagine. Saturn being Titan is unique because of that. That is an atmosphere. Look at that. I mean, I'm rarely seeing such dramatic clouds. The end of the world. That's why I love physics. So you can see his passion in his eyes. He loves whatever he does for his job. The second example I'll show with you is Ferran Adria. He's a chef in Bar no, two hours north of Barcelona and he has a restaurant called El Bulli. So he creates a menu 
that enchants delights customers. And each of the food is like an artwork. It appeals to all your senses. He loves cooking. He turned it into artwork, as you can see. If you love doing something, that becomes your passion. So that's why it's important to explore your own passions in life. Another example, the third example is Elon Musk. Elon Musk is a lot like the kid in the comic book whose fantasies turn into money. But not as a magician. He did it as an engineer. An engineer is the closest thing to a magician that exists in the real world. Musk's fantasies and the companies they've inspired are transforming the way we live. Like this guy is changing the world. He founded his first company at age 23 and sold it a few years later for $300 million. He helped pave the way for online commerce. With PayPal, his goal was to transform the financial industry. He made solar energy affordable and jump-started the electric car industry. We show that you can make compelling electric cars that people really want to buy. And he's beating NASA to outer space. Elon Musk goes a step further. <laughs> With SpaceX, he literally wants to go to Mars. And he's still only 40. I look to him with awe at the way in which he can see the future and make it manifest. His greatest asset is his ability to take this big dream and make other people believe that it's true. There have been setbacks. We have maybe about a week's worth of cash in the bank, or, or less. He saved the company in its darkest hour. And yes, he's controversial. This is just the religion of electric vehicles. And like Jonestown, um, that religion will come to an end. Still, despite his critics, Musk has never been bashful about his own achievements. You know, Prius is a gas guzzling hog by comparison with this car. Yes, he's a media darling. On a scale of 1 to 10, how sexy am I going to be if I buy this car? I mean, 11. Here he is in the movie Iron Man. He was even the mock for the movie's hero. Yeah, good idea for an electric jet. You do. Yeah. Then we'll make it work. <laughs> so this is Bloomberg's risk takers. I uploaded the whole video. You can find it in your slides. It's a one-hour program. The last example is performance artist Marina Abramovich. She sits in a museum for seven hours every day, six days a week, and whoever sits in front of her, there is a chair in front of her, whoever sits there, she stares into the eyes of that person. The performance is called The Artist is Present. The hardest thing is to do something which is close to nothing because it's demanding all of you. She is directly and boldly challenging her audience. Art was She needs the audience like air to breathe. There is only one question I didn't hear since 10 years. Why is this art? She slows everybody's brain down. She transforms us as a result. Destroying mama is important. I want to be real form of art before I die. <laughs> we know probably just the artist is present means she will be present. <laughs> Mina, are you nervous about the show at the moment? And when you sit in the chair, what do you do? Everybody will sit in front of me. It's just the gaze. Seven and a half hours, six days a week, emotions. This is a good limit, even for me. So this is Marina Abramovich. She's a performance artist. Now, we witnessed the lives of four creatives. Let me remind you, 
Each of them is from a different sector. Brian Cox is a physics professor. He's passionate about physics and the universe. Ferran Andrea, he loves cooking, turns cooking and each of the dishes into an artwork. Elon Musk, he's an engineer, but also an entrepreneur. He transformed many industries through his power of passion and curiosity. And Marina Abramovic is a performance artist. As you can see, she has some crazy ideas. So it is very good to be crazy in this life. I want you to be crazy. And in order to get more joy, adventure in our lives, you need to have imaginary lives. I want you to imagine, think of four imaginary lives that would be fun and interesting to have. Ferran Adria, Brian Cox, Elon Musk, Marina Abramovic, they all have very interesting careers, don't they? Very interesting lives. I want you to think without any boundaries, if everything was po were possible, you know, what could be for imaginary lives that you would love to have? And write them down, please. You can think of different jobs. Think of things that will be really exciting, fresh, adventurous, fun, interesting for you. What are they? Please write them down. Write them on your notebook. Take a note. Keep writing. There is no wrong answer. What does your heart desire? Think about that. Don't think if it will be possible or not. Think about the desires of your heart. And remember, you can have anything that you want in your imagination. Don't limit your. The sky is the limit. You can go anywhere. You can do whatever you want, especially when you are dreaming. Don't limit yourself. So please finish this. Write them down. Wrap it up, please. Make it quick. Okay, are you done? Uh, you can always continue if you are not done yet. But what's important here is experimenting with your creativity. Now, here is the next challenge. I want you to imagine that your life story, your success story is being turned into a movie by Hollywood. They want to do the movie of your life. Okay, so that's exciting. I want you to imagine possibilities now. What would be the title of that movie? Write it down, please. Write on your notebook. What would be the title of the movie of your life? Imagine this will be turned into a Hollywood movie. This is your life story, your success story. What would be the title? Write it down. Twenty seconds, just write it down. Whatever comes into your mind, it is fine. There is no wrong answer. Okay, the second question. I want you to 
think about your success story, your legacy, your impact. So think about the main story of the movie. What is the plot line? What is this movie about? What is your success story about? Write a few sentences on this. You can use bullet points. It doesn't have to be full sentences. You can just do bullet points, quick ideas. Please write them down. The main plot line, success story. Just come up with bullet points, write them down. Thirty seconds. Just make it quick. Quick bullet points are fine. What will be your success story? Just wrap it up, please. Okay, let's continue with the next question. If you are not done, you can always come back. Who would play you? Think of a Hollywood star or another world star. Who would play you? You can choose any gender, any age. It doesn't matter. The sky is the limit. Who would play you? Think about famous people. Who do you want as an actor? Write down. Write it down, please. 10 seconds. Okay, the next question. What are the three skills that your cinema self has? They are displayed in this movie, but you don't have these skills yet. What are they? I want you to think about three skills that your cinema self in the movie has them, but you don't have them yet. What are they? Make a list. Top three. So you want to acquire these skills, yeah? These are your dream skills, but you don't have them yet. What are they? Write them down. Three skills. Okay, wrap it up. The last question, what are the top three places that you want to travel as your cinema self, but you haven't been to these places? What are the top three places that you want to go to? And these, this movie is shot in these three places, yeah? You haven't been to these places yet. What are they? Write them down. Okay, wrap it up, please.
Okay, uh, normally we do clusters uh, and discussions on this, but unfortunately we are running out of time. So uh, what I recommend is do this with a friend of yours. So find a friend of yours, uh, ideally in person, if you can come up, come together in a cafe in the upcoming days, or if you cannot then do this online, but discuss this with a friend that you trust, okay? Uh, just uh, encourage them to come up with their own dreams as well. Share your dreams. And when you do this exercise, please do it with a friend of yours. When you do this exercise, also offer popcorn to one another. Popcorn means something positive and encouraging. So offer a popcorn, say something positive and encouraging, but write it down on a piece of paper. Whenever you do this exercise, like write down your message. So if you do this online, write down a message and send it to the other person so that it should be written. Write down something positive, encouraging, and we call this popcorn. Uh, it is like a gift. And in this class, we will do a lot of these popcorns. We will encourage each other, give each other uh, encouragement. Okay. Uh, so, in the last part, before we finish, I'll uh, introduce you to this book. Daniel Priestley came up with this amazing book. If you haven't read it, I recommend you read this book whenever you can. If you want to establish your own business especially, nowadays everybody can establish their own business. You can start, kickstart your business today. Uh, you have if you have internet, laptop, and an internet connection and a cell phone, you can kickstart your entrepreneurial business. It's so easy. So how do you do that? This book gives you a lot of tools and exercises. So how do you become an entrepreneur? You will look ahead, think of a problem to solve, and then demonstrate the demo. Demonstrate the demo of how you solve the problem. Choose something that you're passionate, curious about. Use your gut feeling, implement it, make a prototype. Do the legwork, improvise. Block the doctors. So this is the entrepreneurial journey, really. It all starts with courage and it starts today. So this is Shark Tank. I recommend that you watch this show. It is on Netflix as well, but many episodes are on the internet as well. It's a great show to learn about entrepreneurship. So this is the first page. I will share another page. This is a child entrepreneur, Jack Stans. Next to the tank is a kid entrepreneur who wants to help other kids fulfill their entrepreneurial aspirations. Hi, Sharks. My name is Jack Bino. I'm the founder and CEO of Jack Stands and Marketplaces, and I'm from Denver, Colorado. Hi, Sharks. I'm Steve Bino. I'm Jack Stan. I work for Jack. Sharks, I'm seeking $50,000 in exchange for 10% of my company. I'm 10 years old, but when I was 8 years old, I really wanted a Lego set, but it cost $400. The good news was my dad said I could have it. But he had to pay for it with his own money. So, I did what most of you probably would do. I started my own lemonade stand. After 12 weeks, I made $900 after expenses. Wow. Learned some valuable lessons, and yes, I got my Lego Death Star. <laughs> The experience is exactly I created Jack Stands and Marketplaces. Jack Stands and Marketplaces provides kids and their families opportunities to learn about entrepreneurship, business, financial literacy, while having fun and making some money. We provide everything except their mood and their enthusiasm. Jack Stands offers kids the opportunity to sell lemonade and other drinks. We offer kids the opportunity to sell more than just lemonade. Jack's Marketplaces provides young entrepreneurs opportunity to sell their products in authentic and great marketplaces and have kids sell those great products tell the inspirational stories of these young entrepreneurs. So Sharks, our challenge or question to you is who wants to make money? Well, inspiring our nation's youth in entrepreneurship. So, the last pitch of today before we are almost finishing, the drip drop. 
Sharks. Everyone loves eating ice cream, but there's a universal problem. When ice cream melts down the side of a cone, you get messy drips all over your hands and clothes, and you have to waste tons of napkins wiping it up. We knew it had to be a better way. That's why we created the Drip Drop. The Drip Drop is an edible, useful, and environmentally friendly add-on to the traditional ice cream. It's such a simple solution. Only kids could have invented this. It's an edible ring that has the same ingredients as the cone. You see this? There's a hole in the middle, and you slide it up the ice cream cone like this. It fits perfectly and catches all the drips from melting ice cream. It's that easy. You lick it, eat it, boom. <laughs> and take your pick from many delicious flavors, such as sugar cone, a classic, or chocolate covered. Mmm, tasty. Sharks, we need your money and advice to get the drip drop in every ice cream store and every mouth in the world. Now, don't worry, Mr. Wonderful. No one's going to steal our cool new product. Because it's securely patented. Yeah. That's right. We may not have driver's licenses, but we have a patent. <laughs> <laughs> this baby's a chick magnet. <laughs> okay, so this is Shark Tank. As you can see, it's a great fun show. I want you to watch episodes and learn about entrepreneurship as much as you can. There are incredible success stories of entrepreneurs. It all starts with small steps. You can also start your own journey of uh, entrepreneurship and creativity. So go for the things that you're passionate about. Have a bit of courage, take some risks, do some mistakes, keep learning, keep solving problems, focus on your customers, solve their problems, help other people, and you also become an entrepreneur. But I want you to start right now. And you have the amazing chance to start your entrepreneurial journey in this course, in this module. I want you to think like an entrepreneur and act like an entrepreneur. So if you have that passion to create something truly original, useful, inspiring, wonderful, exciting, then you can do this as part of your course module project this semester. You can consider becoming an entrepreneur. And that will be uh, your secret sauce. That will be your unique value proposition. Think about that until next week. So, so I'm stopping here, but uh, this is a great show. I will stop here. We will continue uh, in, the next, um, in the next class. Uh, we will also kickstart uh, our seminars next Monday. So I will see you on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, Sorry that we have uh, we have had some technical problems today. So uh, unfortunately, this is not the ideal class in my mind. Uh, like we could do uh, maybe like sixty percent, seventy percent of what uh, what I planned for today. But uh, but it'll uh, get better. So hopefully, in the upcoming weeks, it'll get better and better. And this will be a great class and i'm really uh, looking forward to sharing it with you uh, and i love you everyone welcome to my class uh, to our class we will learn a lot from each other welcome again have a great weekend i'll see you next week thank you bye bye everyone welcome again enjoy your weekend great to see you all amazing thank you so sorry about these uh, voice systems, sound systems. I'll solve them better next week, hopefully. Thanks a lot and have a nice weekend, everyone. Thank you.